Welcome back, YouTube. When we last left off, I looked through the peephole and Walter was being super creepy smiley at me, and I had goosebumps, and it turns out Walter killed himself, but now he's back from the dead, and something about the orphanage and the prison, and it's all very creepy. And I'm going through the snake tunnel. Alright, and there's the old creepy lady. No creepy lady! Fuck you! And I gotta slip the red piece of paper underneath my door, I think. I think. Right. Okay. And now I gotta go back. I think. I'm pretty sure. I could probably just use one of these keys, but we're gonna we're gonna try to do everything in order. Oh god. Fuck you. Why is an old lady in the the porno magazine place? That's just creepy. Maybe he was in the gilfs. Gills. Oh, here we go. Waking up. Waking up, waking up, waking up. Any creepy noises? Nope. Okay. Here we go. Get the get the thing. The red piece of paper stuck here. Yeah, I know I put it through. Oh, but it's got a message this time. It was four years ago when they discovered the body with 1221 carved into it. Right after, wait, right away I had this terrible feeling and I couldn't stop shaking. The victim had been murdered six months earlier, but Walter had been dead for seven years. What the? Having committed suicide three years before the murder. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so he, he killed himself, right? The police thinking it's a copycat crime and are calling the Sullivan case round two. But something about it bothered me. May 14th. Is he still out there? Yeah, don't not alter. Yeah, but then don't hang outside my door like a creep. Please don't be out there still. Hello? Hello? No, okay. But he's killed 19 people. Which means, if he's killing 21 people, he's only got two more people to kill. And I, I suppose Eileen's the next victim? Does that make me victim 21? I don't know. This is all very confusing. There's blood everywhere. My my room's becoming a hellhole of demon spawn. This is all very confusing. I think maybe the next video, I'm just going to read over the memos and just try to figure out the story. Because I think... Oh, God. Wait. No, 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 no. Okay. I don't have any more red pieces of paper. No. I'm locked in there, in the other world. No, okay. I still can't go in the Eileen's room. Right. And the doll's still there, but supposedly I don't want to pick it up. Part of me just wants to pick it up because I want to have all the hardness, but... Okay, so we have... First of all, we're going to unlock... Alright, okay, here we go. Love letters. I love you, Rachel Mike. Okay, well, what does that have anything to do with anything? Alright, let's go. No, oh, that's not the other one. Superintendent's room? That's, that's James's dad. Old me's dad, right? Frank Sunderland, right? Oh, here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God, what is this? What the hell is with this guy's room? All the Sunderlands are creepy mofos. Oh, what is this? Computer? Oh, something's over here. Oh, here we go, diary. It's a diary. The red box seems stranger today. It's giving off a terrible smell. It's disgusting, but I can't throw it away. It must have been around 30 years ago. Okay, so Walter, maybe? That couple was living in the apartment, but one day they just suddenly disappeared, ran off like thieves in the night. I don't know why. It must have been money troubles, or maybe they got themselves in some kind of danger. The problem came after that. They left their newborn baby when they took off. I even found the umbilical cord. Ah, uh, so th that would have been Walter, who was born, I guess, in my room? I think... 
Well, it might not have even been my room. It must be my room, though, because my room's Satan. Okay, I called the ambulance right away, and I heard the baby survive, but I don't know what happened to him. Although, a few years later, I often saw a kid hanging around that apartment. Oh, God, it's Walter. One day, he stopped coming by. Now that I think of it, I bet that was that abandoned baby. It's a horrible story, abandoning a newborn baby. That Oh, yep, it all happened in my room, 302. And then, in Bill Court, I found there, well, I still can't get myself to throw it away. What the f- You Sunderlands are creepy motherfuckers. Right. It's a red box. Okay, so that's where the umbilical cord is. Something. Oh, here we go. Keys. Get the keys. Get the apartment keys. Hey, I got all the apartment keys. Okay, so I have all the apartment keys except for room 303. Great. Right. Let's let's take the bed now. This. Found by Nurse Rachel. Return it to room 302 together with a part. Her boyfriend, Mike, tore it off. Okay, but Mike wasn't her boyfriend. Mike was just in love with her. Oh, uh, maybe he thought Mike was her boyfriend. Okay, never mind. That doesn't really do much for me at all. He's got like a one. He's got like security cameras in his room. Who is this? Can I take them bill book cord? No. Okay, I don't want it. Either. That's locked. What's in here? Oh, that's all locked up. What the hell? This guy lives in like a prison? Jesus. Okay, now we have the apartment. Keys. No, door shut tight. Oh, here we go. My darling's number. As there are some numbers that look like a phone number. Can you press this number? Yeah, there's a phone. Oh, my kid. Where's the phone right now? Oh my god. Still in here? Somebody's in here with me. Oh god. What the 
fuck is going on? I can't even see. What's happening? What is going on? What is with the phone? This is the most frustrating thing ever! There's nothing in here, is there? Fuck this room. Also, what the hell is with this apartment building? Alright, I'm gonna find you, you fucking phone. Wait, what is this? What is it? Get it! Oh no, this must be an engine or something like that. Okay, here he glows. What the? This place is empty. Alright, uh, I was in this room. What the? It's like a insane asylum room. Okay. Am I getting closer to the ring, or is it just my imagination? Everything's shut. Never mind. <sighs> this phone is pissing me off. Oh god. No. No. Who has leeches in their house? That's just Nope. Nope. I don't want anything to do with you. <sighs> All these apartments are useless. Useless! Where's that fucking phone? Somebody answer it, goddammit. Oh, here we go. Something's here. <gasps> oh, the guns here. Just models? Okay, but real pistol bullets. You fucking tease! Oh, god. skin are so itchy that the stupid cat next door made me go crazy. I'm so pissed off I took my conversion model gun and blast away at that thing. At point blank range it was cool. Then something dropped like a stone. By the way, the revolver that Richard II was seven carries is a real thing. That guy's dangerous. Oh god! Let me guess. These are all models. All fucking models. This is, that, that's a chainsaw though. Get the chainsaw! I don't want to use my health kit. Okay, these are two. Okay, so there's nothing on the bottom level. That's the super intense stuff. Yeah, still on this. Sleep. Yeah, but it's still okay this. Okay, that phone is starting to really piss me off. Wait, what was that? Five minutes? This door shut that phone. Alright, let's slip some stuff underneath my doors, and then we'll go check out the second floor. Bone pissing me off. Maybe it's coming from my leaf? Oh, that was like a shake. What was that? Dogs? Something. TV. 
Hello? Is it phone? <gasps> no, but it's pistols. Pistol ammo. Get the pistol ammo. Yes! Here we go. We're gonna get some flies. The phone's probably coming from my room, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Something down here. Nope. Bibles or something. Alright, so this is an old lady's house. Something with dogs. It's locked. Alright, no, I can't get in there. Can I get in my room? And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna get health. Things are gonna be solved. Hi, we're entering the hall. Oh god. This is backstory time. Backstory! Up the creepy snake hole. Let me guess, my phone's ringing? Is my phone ringing? Let's just try to answer it. I don't know, I don't know. I don't want to ring anybody, I can't ring anybody. It's all disconnected anyway. Uh, let me guess. All sorts of creepy noise? No. Okay, no creepy noise. Right. It's a torn, okay, let's get the torn one. I lost the key to Eileen Galvin's room. I gotta find it and bring it back. Let me think. The last place I saw it was... Oh, great. Fucking tease. I picked up the key that Eileen from 303 must have dropped. I thought I'd return it, but she wasn't home. I guess I'll give it to the super. Thanks, 12. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So which one came after? So is it, it still must be in his room, right? Maybe. Alright, let me heal. What's Eileen up to? She's still just walking around? Yeah, she's okay. Ah, I hate that I have to keep checking up on her. It's one of those things where they punish me or something. Okay. There's gotta be something in one of the apartments. Frank's yelling with people. I don't really care about Frank. He's all creepy like his son, keeping on Bill Cucors. What the fuck is wrong with that family? Oh, I'm gonna save. Might as well save. Don't wanna have to do everything all over again like all the other times I type of dogs and ghosts. That guy bit my nipples. That was freaky. Alright, here we go. Um, I guess I might as well end this one here. We'll do lots of little short videos, eh? Okay. Well, maybe they're not very short. I don't really have a sense of time when I'm playing video games. Alright, so this has been YouTube with Jash. Some plot story. I'm supposed to find Eileen's key. Ghost bit my nipples. And James Frank Sunderland is a creepy bitch. Alright, bye.